now that we have three business objects, let's create a default web application on top of them. Click to create a web application and provide a name. You'll be taken into the visual editor for your page. At this stage, you can minimize this area of the page. Over here, you have a set of components on the left that you can drag into the middle to create your page. For example, let's add a heading. And below that, we can add another horizontal rule. And this basically is how we uh, create our page. By the way, note that the page is also available as code here, and you can actually go directly to the code and modify things here. So, for example, provide tab request as the title. This would be reflected here and here. Next, we're going to bind a UI component to the data. Let's use a table, for example. Once you bring a table into the page, you would have the a helpful hints over here to allow you to add the data to the table, for example. You can expand your business objects and select the um, tab request over here. Automatically, you'll be shown the method that brings in the tab request information. And in the next step, you'll be able to choose which fields you want to show. For example, the traveler, where is he traveling to, on what date, and what's his approved status. You can also show the cost. You can reorder the fields by dragging and dropping them in this layout. Now that you also need to have a primary key for the table. Click Finish to create a page that presents to you all the travel requests. Using the helpful editors over here, you can also create other pages to create a full CRUD operation. For example, let's create a create page where we can fill in information about additional travel requests. So we put in the traveler, the to, the form, the date, the cost, and we can also indicate the category and the airline. Over here, you can control the a button label. We can, for example, just have create the page title, and the page name. Let's click Finish. At this stage, you can run your application. Once your application is running, you'll be able to see your travel request. You'll also have the Create button, and when you press on it, you'll be navigated to the travel page creation. Um, let's put in some information. Over here we have the two categories we chose. And over here we can choose the airline. Now we have the new request over here presented to us. So this is our application working right now. Let's complete the application, adding an additional edit page. This involves calling two methods. One of them fetches the specific travel request. The next one updates it. And again, um, you can choose the fields that you want to show. Again, travel to date, cost, choose the category, the airline, and also whether it's approved or not. Again, you can modify the titles of the buttons and of the page that is being created. Let's also create a delete action. This will allow us to delete a specific travel request. Now we can run our application again. All right, so we can see travel requests. As we saw before, we can go and create one. Once you choose a record, you can also edit that record. Okay, for example, approve this travel request and update the category and the airline and click Save. If there's a request that you want to get rid of, you can click it and then click the Delete travel request. This is how easy it is to create a complete CRUD application in a couple of minutes using our wizards in Visual Builder 2.0.